Hi guys, this is Jesse from NovaQuark. It's been a while since I last spoke to you, and since the Alpha 3 is uh, coming soon, I just wanted to take a bit of time to update you about what's going to be in Alpha 3 and what's going to come after. But first, let's take a step back and have a look at this incredible year 2019. It has been a fantastic year. We have shipped the Alpha 2. Uh, we have done also a test with 30,000 simulated players and also real players all together inside the same world. I think this is a world premiere. This, this was huge. Um, we created a new studio. We opened a branch in Montreal, which was a, a huge project to, to start. Uh, we are now more than 30 people in this studio. Uh, I moved myself to Montreal to help you know, to, to grow this, this new branch. Uh, we moved the Paris office uh, to a new place in Paris, so that was also a huge uh, uh, project inside the company. Um, we had to actually deal with uh, the live operations because it's been more than a year now that we have actually players playing the game regularly. So this is what is called live operation. It takes a lot of time, a lot of efforts. And together with that, we are developing the new features that are coming uh, for Alpha 3 and, and later. So, because of all these events, I mean, this has taken a lot of our energy, and some of the things we planned for Alpha 3 are going to be moved uh, a bit later. Some things are, are going to come earlier than what we expected, but there have been some little adjustments to the, the content of, of Alpha 3 and uh, Beta. So this, we're going to talk right now just about Alpha 3. We're going to have another uh, uh, more, more detailed uh, discussion in a podcast uh, about the roadmap in general. But I want to focus now on what's going to come in Alpha 3 uh, in more detail. So let's have a look. So first, the good news is that the Alpha 3 is going to ship in time. Well, maybe with a couple of weeks of delay, but it's going to be shipping in January 2020. So what's going to come in Alpha 3? So, of course, there's a lot of uh, small improvements and little bug fix and things. I'm not going to go into the details. The changelog is pretty long. But I want to focus on the main features of Alpha 3. The first feature that uh, we are all interested in is PvP. So, in Dual Universe, you know, PvP comes in two different uh, variants. One of them is AVA, Avatar versus Avatar. And uh, the other one is Construct versus Construct, CVC. Well, you also have Avatar versus Construct and Construct versus Avatar, but these are like sub-version. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this uh, here. Uh, so basically, we couldn't do both, AVA and CVC, and we had to make a choice. On one hand, you have AVA, which is more or less your usual you know, FPS experience shooter. Well, with the fact that you have a lock and fire mechanism, but otherwise something that is fairly standard in the industry. On the other side, you have the CVC, well, there's a lot of innovation uh, for us with Dual Universe because we're talking about physical destruction of ships, using the voxel uh, engine to actually make uh, damage in the ship, this kind of thing. So we reason that this would be more interesting to focus on rather than AVA in the first iteration of PvP. So that's what we've done. Uh, so I'm going to talk into more details about what exactly comes with uh, the CVC in the podcast that is uh, coming. Uh, but, you know, it's the... The thing that is based around, you equip some elements that are weapons, they have different damage type, and they can make holes, actual destruction of the ships you target. So this is really cool, plus the fact that you can have a crew on board. So this, this is something that I think is going to be innovative and potentially, in the first situation, more interesting to test uh, than AVA, hence the choice we've made. Um, so there are also a couple of things that are going to be missing, like the repair units that are going to come shortly af after Alpha 3. We couldn't actually squeeze it in uh, this time, but it's going to come right after it. Uh, and uh, probably are going to be some limitations about the area where you can do PvP. This is just a first step. And what we want to do is to test this as soon as possible with you and to get your feedback about these, in fact, innovative features that uh, I think have not been tried really uh, anywhere else because you need all this voxel tech and the kind of things we have in Dual Universe. Another feature that is coming in Alpha 3, or actually set of three features, uh, are the organizations, the RDMS, or revision of it, so the right and duty management system, and the ownership. So these three features, they are 
what we could call the social features, that th those features that are necessary for you to actually build uh, cooperation, collaboration between a set of players, to actually also specify properly uh, the ownership, the property rights, who has the right to do what and when with who. So this, these are features that are fundamental when you consider a game like your universe where you have so many people all together. You have to be able to draw boundaries and to create a group of players that are uh, united around the same banner. So this is what it's about. Uh, I'm going to talk more in details about that in the coming podcast because there's a lot to say about it. But let's just say that we focused on these social uh, gameplay aspects that are so important in a game like Dual Universe. The good news is that some of those features were actually scheduled for beta and they are going to be in Alpha 3, at least in the first uh, iteration stage, because we thought you know, that they really should come together. It was really hard to imagine shipping one without the other. So they are going to come together. Uh, one thing that will need a polish probably is the UI that is still in the making, but it's going to be functional and we are able to test it. And finally, there will also be a set of improvements in rendering. Uh, for example, you will be able to see better in the dark. We know this, this was a big, big thing and we I think we fixed it and it's pretty amazing how it looks. Uh, we're going to also improve some of the UIs. This is a long term you know, improvement. We're going to have a lot of iterations on that. Uh, and globally, I mean, we're going to have some, we hope, visually interesting uh, improvements on the way. That's about it for the Alpha 3. Now I would like to talk a little bit more about what comes after Alpha 3, basically between Alpha 3 and Beta. The vision of Dual Universe has not changed at all. Uh, I could summarize it basically around six main pillars. Uh, the first one is the exploration. Uh, the second one is the building gameplay, building stuff. The third one is the economy, the industry. Uh, the fourth one is PvP combat. Uh, the fifth one is all the social features, the organizations, RDMS, etc. Uh, and the last one is about the RPG element, you know, the talent system, the fact that you can uh, uh, customize your character and so on. Uh, so these things are the six pillars that you need in place so that you're able to build the rest of the game. And there's tons of other features uh, that will be built on top of that. If you look at the, the history of what we've produced since uh, the pre-alpha, we've, we've been trying to put the, you know, the basic building blocks that are necessary in all those pillars. I mean, the minimal features that are necessary so they are here and they can all work together because there's all this sort of holistic interaction of all the things that are going to create emergent gameplay in your universe. So we've been focusing in the last step in the, with the Alpha 3 to put the last two pillars that were missing, so the PvP and the social features. Of course, because they are new, you can expect that there will be some instabilities and a lot of things that we need to finish on the way. So basically, expect things to get a bit worse before it gets better. It's going to get better because between Alpha 3 and Beta, we're going to focus mostly on polishing all these pillars. So polishing, improving the user experience, working on the onboarding, you know, the first 30 minutes in the game that you must find cool so that you can understand what are the features, what you can do with the game. Uh, we're gonna work also on performance improvements and, and of course the bug fixes. So this, this is gonna be the clear focus between Alpha 3 and Beta. There might be a few features that we squeeze in, but I mean, the focus is really about polishing. And along the way, between the Alpha 3 and Beta, uh, there will be the very important date that is the NDA lift. Uh, so we don't have an exact date. It's going to happen when we consider that the game is good enough in terms of rendering, polishing features, everything I, I've talked about, so that we can actually let people uh, in the game and publicly you know, talk about it and so on. So this is going to happen between Alpha 3 and Beta, certainly not before March. And um, we're going to try our best to be, you know, as, as uh, far away from beta as possible so we have more time, you know, to, to ramp up the, the visibility of the game along the way. Okay, so that's about it. But one thing I wanted to say is that, you know, some of you might be disappointed that uh, certain features they were expecting are not going to make it to Alpha 3 or even to beta. In fact, the philosophy at Nova Quark, what we try to achieve is that uh, we keep our deadline. So when we say we ship something on a certain time, we ship something. Well, sometimes, you know, there's a couple of weeks of delay, but I mean, we keep the deadline uh, in general. 
So it, it's a choice. I mean, we could very well, you know, extend the deadline so that we put everything we said. But I think it's better as we are iterating with you guys and we get your feedback, it's better to ship on time to have, you know, uh, fixed rendezvous points uh, where we actually deliver new things and we can improve on them uh, together. Well, this is going to be followed by a podcast very shortly uh, where we are going to go into more details about all these aspects. And we're going also to answer uh, many of the features, you have, uh, many of the questions you've been asking on the forum, uh, which we have been reading very carefully. So uh, stay tuned uh, for this podcast that is coming soon. And until then, bye-bye. See you soon in Dual Universe. Mm -hmm.